What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Kirkham family and welcome back to City Skylines Tutorials. So we've been looking at uh, transport today. Today? Well, yes. That makes no sense to me, but oh well. We've been looking at uh, transport links for these last couple of videos, but uh, we've got one last transport, um, well, one real proper transport left to do. Um, I'm, like I said in the first video, I'm not going to be looking at um, trams and stuff because they're basically the same as any other thing. Um, except for you make them in the middle of the, side of, middle of the road and you've got to convert the road. So they're pretty simple. And um, so today we're going to be looking at um, trains and stuff. So these are where it gets slightly more complicated um, because you've got external factors in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of train stations around the city and we're going to show you how to link an external train line into your city. So the first thing is you need to know where your external train line is. So you always have one, it might not be in your starting square, so remember my starting square was this one okay so this is where I started, so actually I had to buy one square over to get my transport line now that's very good, that's pretty good that your um, train line was in the next square over usually in these games um, your starting square your, your start starting square is miles away from your nearest um, uh, transport line. I remember I played. I played um, solo player on this, and um, my nearest external line was miles away. But that's okay. We can work with this. So what we got is if you come to the little train. So it's one next to the metro what we did last episode, and you, you want the train station. Now, like I say in every video, I've got lots of mods installed, what gives me lots of different types of trains, stations, and stuff. And they look very pretty. But for the uh, purpose of the video, we're going to be looking at the first four. Um, play, also ignore the power it's because I haven't put any buildings in we're going to be doing those in the, in a later video so the first of all let's talk them through so you've got your passenger station you've got your freight cargo station so this is for your industry and stuff but we're not going to be looking at that one today and once I've shown you how to connect to an external line this becomes very simple uh, you've got your train tracks quite obviously that's your train tracks but they're locked until you build your first train station and I don't mean your cargo train station it means this train station so it's a little bug with that where you have to build this one before you can build these but you can't build one of these to do one of these confusing I know and then you've got your train line or your train line tool technically so what we're going to do is we're going to place a couple of these around now the, like I said before these do not interact with your thing with your um, metro stations underneath uh, unless you have a special uh, station and then they might be connected so we're going to place a couple of these round. So these are going to be slightly more spread apart, simply for, for the fact that it's a train station. You don't have many of these around your city, do you? And I think I'm going to put my last one there. And now your uh, train tracks are unlocked. We can see that this one is miles up. But that's okay. We're going to come down here, and I'm actually going to do a bendy tool, just make it look slightly more natural going into that one and you just literally like you're building the, uh, the, the, tr uh, the tunnels within the metro station that we did last episode we're just connecting up all the stations here there we go there we go so that's our um, four stations connected so we can probably make a line that goes to between all of those and that's exactly what I'm going to do here so just like we made the line for a metro station, we're going to be doing the same thing for these stations. So you first click on the first one, and you follow train tracks down. This is where you can get confused. This is your metro, and this is your train tracks. And you click. So this is a green line. Uh, and then you go back, and you do the opposite side. So just like the metro stations, or the underground stations, it does double up as you go along. So it does look quite cool. Um, and once again, with these, if you make a mistake, you can right click and delete a blob, or you can um, click and drag to add another station. So that's that. So now we want to add a um, external line in, so we can see these trains going around. Like I say, I've got mods which change the shape of my train, otherwise you'd have a um, kind of a standard looking train. But we want to add a line to the external. That's very simple. All you do is grab your line, go up, and connect. That's it. Now, I highly recommend you do not do that. Try it like a triangle, because yeah, it might look good. Yeah, the trains can come this way, trains can go that way, uh, it's all good, 
but you often get traffic jams. Uh, because trains come up here and trains come up here this one stops that blocks this way it blocks this way and it all comes to a grand grinding halt and it's all a horrible mess and you start crying and your city goes bankrupt don't do it so that's uh, literally probably the quickest tutorial I've ever done so that's how you do your trains and your trains now just run in between all your stations and eventually you'll have an external train coming in and park going to any station that it has access to remember that it has access to so if you only want the train had to um, only ever come to this one make sure that it only comes in this way um, and so it can't actually just go straight down to the end one and come back otherwise it could cause issues but uh, for now I'm quite happy with it just having a branch line off but that's pretty okay any problems or any queries put them in the comment section below and I will get back to you hopefully if I remember so uh, yeah I've been Scully from Blue Cooking Family Hope this has helped. If it has, hit that subscribe button or head to our uh, website bluecoconutfamily.co.uk to check out any of our other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!